Hi, <laughs> welcome to WFTutorials.com. We are doing web development tips in 30 seconds or less. Today we'll be focusing on creating a random string. What can you use a random string for? Passwords, verification codes, unique IDs, usages, and less. So let's hop right into the code. So we have the code right in front of you here. So we have a function called random string. The default value is 30, but you could always change that. It's showing you a list of characters. So these are the characters that would be in the random string generated. So if you want more, you could add different characters. If you want special characters, you could add those. If you want capital letters, you could add those. Right now we're just using common. Then, so you have a for loop, you loop through the for loop based on the default length we provided and a random string is um, generated based on the index, right? So a random index based on the list of characters and it all joins together to return a string. So let's just see this in action. Right, so this is our function right here. Once we press run code, you can see this changes. So every time we run the code, we can see it changes. And we can decrease, we could give it a length. Let's say we want it to be five. We have five, we get five characters there. If we want it 10, we get 10 characters there. All right, so that has been your web development tip in more than 30 seconds or less um check out other videos at wftutorials.com